So this morning, we were talking about behavior modification. How do you take a, a child who's not doing what you would like for them to do and cause them to change their behavior? And we talked about the whole business of having um, two sides of the coin, where you catch them doing it wrong and you have consequences for that behavior, but you also catch them doing it right and you give them rewards for that behavior. And um, this particular unit that we're doing right now is called Discipline Tips That Work. And what I'm going to try to do in this unit is I'm going to try to describe a kind of a child. You put the face and the name to it. It's a kind of behavior that you likely have seen either in the past or will see in the future. And it's good to put a label on it and talk about what does that behavior look like? And then talk about why do they do what they do? And then to add in some ideas of how you might be able to work with this child to try to get them to come along down and get part of your version of normal, get closer to your version of normal. And as I said earlier, there is no silver bullet. All we can really do is give you a bag of tricks, something that you can try. Try this, and if it works, great. And if it doesn't, try something else. Because it's the insane person that keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. So you put the face and the name to this child as we go through these different kinds of children. The first thing we need to talk about is why do children misbehave? And in large part, there are three different general reasons for why children misbehave. Number one is that they are seeking power and control over their environment. So they want to be in control. The second one is for attention. There are some kids who just need attention. And you know, I have some uh, drivers that will tell me, well, you know, it's not fair. I should give everybody one inch of my attention. And that makes it even-handed and fair. But the problem with that concept is that not everybody needs an inch of your attention. There are some kids who are so comfortable in their skin and they get a lot of strokes from other areas of, what they're, of their life that they don't need that constant attention and uh, intervention. And you have other children, for whatever reason, just need attention. And they